This is the X1 Carbon 3D printer with the AMS made by Bamboo Lab. It's a fast and versatile machine that's easy to use which produces professional print results. The 3D printer comes well packaged and is almost ready to go out of the box. Upon opening the box there's a handy QR code that can be scanned to watch the unboxing tutorial. There's also a hard copy of the quick start guide to help you get started. This has the information on unpacking and setting up of the 3D printer, the AMS and the software guide for the first prints. Included at the bottom of the box, there's three 250 gram rolls of sample filament consisting of PLA, PLA carbon fibre and PLA support material. Removing the glass top lid, we can find the AMS unit and the accessory box neatly packed inside. The accessory box contains the touch screen, spare parts including filament cutters, nozzle wipers and some packets of grease. There's two Allen keys and an unclogging tool, a glue stick for the build plate, the single spool holder for the rear of the printer, a spare hot end, the bus cables for connecting the AMS and a power cable. To remove the AMS there are a few transport screws that are removed and these are clearly marked with red arrows. With these screws removed the AMS unit is gently lifted out. There's a bit more unpacking to do and a few more transport screws to remove. The AMS is placed on top of the printer and the cables and Teflon tubes are connected. The single spool holder is installed onto the back of the printer and this is for using individual rolls of filament that are not compatible with the AMS. At the front of the printer, the ribbon cable is connected to the back of the screen and it's attached and clips into place. The printer is plugged in and turned on via the switch at the back and it's ready to go. Taking a look around the printer, the X1C has a clean modern design with a solid construction built with quality materials. Making it solid, the fully enclosed printer has a welded steel internal frame with aluminium side panels. For accessing the internals, there's a removable glass top and a hinged glass front door. Having the enclosure is good to keep a controlled internal temperature which is perfect for printing demanding materials like ASA, ABS or nylon. At the top of the printer there are two physical buttons. The left one is used to wake up the screen and the second button can be used to quickly stop a print. Moving to the front of the printer, the 5 inch colour touchscreen is adjustable to get the perfect viewing angle. The user interface is clearly displayed and the responsive screen makes it easy to navigate and control the printer. Just on the side of the display there's a micro SD card slot and this is used for loading files manually and for recording the time lapse footage. There's 4 gig of onboard storage and with Bamboo Studio slice files are directly sent to the printer over Wi-Fi or in LAN mode. The X1C uses a core XY motion system controlled by two stepper motors for high speed printing with speeds up to 500 millimeters a second. To achieve these speeds, the X1C has ultra lightweight carbon fiber rods and a lightweight tool head. The carbon fiber rods used on the x-axis don't require lubrication or maintenance but it's recommended to periodically wipe them down. Fast printing also requires good part cooling and the X1 comes with a radial fan with two air ducts that direct the air underneath the nozzle and there's an additional side auxiliary part cooling fan for extra cooling of the printed layers. The cover of the tool head is attached with magnets and underneath there's an all metal hot end that reaches temperatures of 300 degrees. And this has a hardened steel 0.4 millimeter nozzle installed for printing a large range of materials. The extruder is located just above the hot end and it's equipped with hardened steel gears. There's a filament cutter with a lever on the side of the tool head and this will automatically cut the filament with a small internal blade when changing filament. The Z axis is comprised of three lead screws that are connected to a single stepper motor using a belt which ensures precise Z layers. The printer has a build volume of 256 millimeters cubed. The hotbed can reach temperatures of up to 120 degrees and it comes with a dual sided smooth magnetic build plate. One side for printing PLA and flipping it over we have the engineering plate which is suited for PETG, ABS, TPU and PC. There's also an optional textured steel PEI plate for PLA, ABS and PETG. Both plates work well and I like using the PEI plate on the printer. At the back of the bed there are two alignment parts 
which makes it easy to reinstall the magnetic build plate. The hands-free auto bed level on the Bamboo X1 utilises two sets of independent sensors and an algorithm to measure the height of the nozzle relative to the bed. Ensuring perfect bed levelling, the LiDAR and analogue force sensors cross-check for an extra layer of redundancy. The micro LiDAR is also used to check the first print layer for any errors and it measures the width and consistency of the test lines to calculate the flow rate. Just inside the top corner, an internal 1080p camera is used for spaghetti error detection and for remote monitoring, which is viewed in the Bamboo Studio or on the Bamboo Handy app. The camera can also record and generate a time-lapse video of the print to the SD card, which can be viewed later. There's a diffused LED light for illuminating the inside that will help you see what's printing. The lights can be turned on or off when needed, either from the touchscreen or remotely in the software. Towards the back of the printer, there's a clever device for wiping the nozzle clean and a waste chute to remove excess filament out the back. At the back of the printer, there's two points for the belt tensioners. We also have the exhaust fan, which filters the chamber's air through an active carbon filter. There's a filament buffer, which is connected to both the tool head extruder and the AMS unit. This device has a spring and hole sensor that makes sure the feed speed on the AMS has precise tension on the filament, so the extruder can work easily. The AMS is an automatic material system which is mainly used for multicolour, multi-material printing. It holds four rolls of filament and is able to automatically change and select filament as needed. It also provides the filament with a second stage driving force with a brushless motor. This allows you to have multiple colours or different materials loaded and ready to go. Not only that, the AMS is able to be used as a filament backup system, which will automatically switch from a finished roll to the next roll of filament if one runs out. Additionally, filament is kept dry inside the AMS with two compartments that have vented covers for the moisture absorbing desiccant. The airtight sealed unit with a humidity sensor keeps filament dry, clean and ready to use which makes it a perfect solution for damp or dusty environments. Spools of filament are super easy to load into the AMS and an RFID tag on bamboo spools will auto detect what filament is in use and this will automatically apply the best setting for the material, which is a very clever system indeed. The AMS is not only limited to bamboo filament spools, I found generic spools of filament work well inside the AMS, but these need material information and colour to be added manually. There's a huge range of filaments to choose from, including basic PLA, PETG, ABS and carbon fibre reinforced materials. If you're looking to print with more colours, the AMS is expandable and can connect four AMS units with the optional hub, allowing you a total of 16 colours. Cardboard spools and TPU are best loaded separately on the back of the spool holder, and it's recommended to load highly abrasive materials directly to the printer without using the AMS to avoid additional wear. I find the AMS is a brilliant unit, and having different colours and materials loaded and ready to go makes sending prints quick and easy. Also having the backup spool option in the AMS is excellent for production work or making larger printed parts. For the first print, we'll be using the included green PLA sample. The spool is placed into the AMS and the end of the filament is placed into the opening. The AMS will automatically load the filament into the extruder and read the RFID on the spool and then display the information on the screen. It will automatically load and show the filament type and the colour which makes the process easy. We will start with one of the pre-sliced internal files. On the screen we just select the folder icon and select on one of the models. We can then enable all the calibration options for the best results, then it's simply a matter of pressing on print. Seeing the print speed is very impressive, allowing models to be printed in a fraction of the time of older printers. Starting the first print process was easy and the finished model printed quickly and it looks great. The Bamboo Studio Desktop Slicer software is used to prepare more files for printing. In the software, the printer is set up and the plate type is set. Filament is synchronised from the AMS and once set up, these can be used to assign different colours or materials. There's basic settings for new users and it's easy to switch to the advanced feature set for more experienced users. The pre-configured printing presets work well and get you printing quickly. With a file loaded into the software, it's only a few simple clicks away from printing. To assign a filament or colour for a part, right click on the object and select the corresponding filament that's been loaded into the AMS. After that, click on preview to slice the file 
and if all looks good, click on Print Plate and click on Send. From here, the printer will take care of the whole process, which makes for a hassle-free experience. Print files are directly sent over Wi-Fi, but they can also be saved to the microSD card for offline printing. Under the Device tab in the software, we can remotely monitor and control the printer and see printing information, temperatures, and watch over the print via the camera inside the printer. We can also see a diagram of the AMS unit and view which filament is loaded into the extruder. If you're away from the computer, the Bamboo Handy mobile app is used through the cloud service to send prints, control and monitor the 3D printer, and it'll also send you a notification when the print is complete. One of the first functional parts you'll need to make is the shoot collection bin. When the printer is changing the filament colour, it purges the current colour and shoots it out the back. This file is a two-part print and printed with black generic PLA using the default slicer settings. Both the parts printed well and look good. The base part sits just under the back of the printer and the removable bin fits inside the bracket to collect the discarded filament. The next print is a pre-prepared multicoloured scraper printed with black and green PLA. The print result worked perfectly and with nice black details on the part. So how can you add colour to any models? Adding colours to models is super easy. Let's use this traffic cone for example. Right click on the model and select the filament colour from the colours loaded in the AMS. We will select the orange colour as the base colour. Then at the top select the colour painting icon. There are a few different tools available. There's cool tools like the circle tool which allows you to paint randomly on the object. But we need solid colours and the fill tool allows complete sections to have the colour changed. Next we need some white lines that go all the way around the upper portion of the cone. Using the height range tool, sections of white are added to the orange surface and these will intersect the complete layer and be on all sides of the model. The model is now ready to be sliced and printed in colour. While it's printing, there's nothing to touch and the AMS takes care of the filament colour change effortlessly. It will purge out the current colour and switch to the new colour and resume printing. The finished part turned out really well and exactly as prepared in the software. It's an excellent feature and a great way to customise your print with colours. For the next test, we'll try out the included support material. This is used as an interface between the support and underside layer which will give you a clean and easy breakaway of the support material. To set up the model, support material is added to the model and under filament for supports, the filament is selected as the interface. This is the small white section shown between the support and the model. With the print finished, the support material is easily removed and the underside of the supported model is very clean and smooth. The next prints are of three screw lock carabiners and these are printed with a variety of materials. The red one is printed with PLA which is a basic material designed for easy printing. This is one of the most common materials used in 3D printing. The black one is printed with PLA carbon fibre which is a carbon fibre reinforced PLA that gives improved stiffness and strength. I found this material printed easily and gave a nice matte finish. The blue one is printed in PET-G, which is a long-lasting and durable material, and it has excellent impact and water resistance, which is good when you need durable parts. All the finished prints have an excellent clean and detailed print quality, and the X1C handled a variety of materials with ease. The Bamboo Lab X1C is a well thought out and designed 3D printer, and with the AMS it adds the ability to easily print with multiple colours and a variety of materials. It's a highly capable machine with its solid build quality that produces excellent print results. The printer is easy to set up and to operate, that anyone could use it, and it's great for small or larger prints, prototypes or production work, and with its fast printing speeds, it's a huge time saver. The X1C with the AMS is currently one of the best consumer 3D printers available on the market, and it sets the new benchmark of what a 3D printer should be. It's sure to impress new or experienced users looking for a professional 3D printer.